Hi, I'm Lacey Moore, and um, this is my 13th year teaching high school Spanish, my 10th year at Gilbert. I teach Spanish three and four, so I have mostly juniors and seniors. Hi, I'm Rebecca Hamblin. Your students might know me as Profe or Profe Hamblin. Um, this is my 13th year of teaching, and I've been at Gilbert all 13 years. I teach Spanish one. Uh, so this year's homecoming was really exciting um, and one of the things that we really try and do is to be student-led. Um, so the theme this year was Let Us Turn Up the Beat and that was a student uh, council idea from one of our members and we just really tried to run with it um, and we were really excited that the cheerleaders did all the decorating around it um, and we were just super proud of the way that our kids kind of rallied around that. Um, we did a lot of different things this year. Um, we did community day um, outreach. We had an intramural day. Um, there was a pep assembly for the intermediate and elementary school that happened with some of our high schoolers. Um, so we just had a lot of really cool and different things um, that were all brought on by students this year. The homecoming is led and planned by Student Council, which we are co-sponsors of, as well as also being Spanish teachers together. And it's just really fun to watch the students come up with ideas and help guide them to bring them to fruition and see them take place is really cool. Everything that we did for homecoming was for them because of them. Um, probably one of the most exciting things that they were excited about was powder puff. Um, that was something that we have been asking about for a couple of years and so we were really excited that um, we were kind of given the okay to do that and the kids had an absolute blast. Not just the girls but the boy coaches went all out and they were amazing too and um, so I think that was definitely probably a highlight um, for a lot of kids that got to participate and that got to watch. So one of my all-time favorite memories from being a teacher, I have tons of them and have had awesome memories of lots of things, um, but one that really stands out was, to me was, was about four or five years ago, um, I had some students actually plan a gender reveal party for me when I was having my first son, and they went all out. They had balloons and confetti and cupcakes and just all the things. Handmade decorations. Handmade decorations. Like it was That's like so amazing and they did it all themselves and it was just it was so special and I will never ever forget that so that was really really awesome. Um, one of the things that I think makes Gilbert kind of different and special is um, especially being in an elective course having three Spanish teachers at um, a school this size is pretty much unheard of and I think that just speaks to you know the um, caliber of students that we have and the importance that our families place on learning a second language which I think is just so important in today's world so I just appreciate all of the support from Gilbert schools in the in our Spanish department and in the families and supporting us um, as well. And also thrilled that they brought back Spanish at the middle school. So it's not just three Spanish teachers, it's three high school teachers. And then our three and a half is at the middle school. We were thrilled yeah. to bring that back so that we can share language and culture and a world outside of ourselves with those students there. Yeah. So I frequently have students or parents ask me why I'm a teacher and I'm always really excited to share this story because it's really special to me. Um, I come from a family of teachers. My mom's a teacher, grandparents, aunts. And so I always kind of knew that I wanted to be a teacher, but I didn't know what kind. And when I was in high school, I was forced by my mother to take Spanish, and I was not good at it at all. Spanish was really hard for me. I wanted to quit, and she wouldn't let me. She made me take AP Spanish. I graduated from high school, thought I was done. She made me take Spanish in college because she was aware that I was very close to having a minor. And something in college clicked for me, and I ended up loving Spanish instead of hating it. And so I knew I wanted to teach Spanish because I wanted to share something that I loved with other people. And since I knew how difficult it was, I wanted to be able to support students who are learning something new and having struggles and let them know, no, I understand that it's difficult. Let's work together and find a way to make this accessible for you.